I hope you are enjoying the build so far. As you can see, I have finally decided to use the radar sensor. The reason being is that it works flawlessly, and it allowed me to install the whole thing without having to drill any holes or adding any other visible parts outside the light switch. I pulled some wires through the tubes and used a 5V converter to power the module. As I mentioned in the first part, both modules have LiPo batteries inside so they are able to run autonomously. This is because I need the system to be able to detect an intrusion if the burglar decides to cut men's power before breaking in. I could not include it in the previous video, since the batteries did not arrive on time, but as promised, here it is. Here I am hiding the power module inside the light fixture using double-sided tape. I tried to put it inside the light switch together with the transmitter module, but there was no room for it. I could have placed a simple switch at the door or used an inductive sensor which would also have been a very good solution. But again, I didn't want to add visible parts and I was excited about trying this sensor instead. This micro switch allows me to check that the system is working and then I can turn off the LED during normal operation. I had to decrease the sensor range to avoid false alarms. Sometimes there are neighbors walking very close to my storage unit and they could be detected or interfere with it, triggering the alarm. It was quite simple. I just had to solder a single resistor after finding the right value. For those interested in making your own PCBs, I want to let you know that NextPCB supported both parts of this project and the PCBs came out great as you could see. They have some good deals that I left in the description box below. Make sure to check them out. I know that most of you have already watched the first video, so I'm not going to explain the whole thing again with all the details as I did. But I will show you the radar sensor in action. 
together with the transmitter and receiver modules. I think it's really cool to see that it works even when it's completely covered inside the light switch. I did not mention it before, but it's based on the famous Doppler effect. Now I have some evil ideas, like an auto-aim machine to spray the other end to the burglars. But if you think of any other way of stopping them from running away, just let me know. I guess the law is the limit. I will be posting pictures of the projects coming up on my Instagram, so you can follow me there if you're interested. Thank you for your support. See you in the next one.